You might not like me, but you will respect me. It's better to be respected than to be liked. But first, like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. It is better to be respected than to be liked. As women, there is nothing wrong with wanting to be liked by other people. I think it's human nature to want to be liked. The issue comes in when you are willing to lose your respect for yourself and the respect of others in order to be liked. A lot of people are liked because of their ability to let people treat them however they want to treat them. But the women who are disliked the most are often the women who refuse to let people take advantage of them. The women who have boundaries and standards for their lives are typically the women who are not everyone's cup of tea. They're not everyone's cup of jill, if you know what I mean. The women who are darn good wives, darn good mothers. If you're an employee, you do the very best you can at your job. At least when you're there, you show that you know what you're doing and you stand on it. A woman who is a woman of industry, you start businesses, you are willing to do different things to increase your personal development. You are so focused on being not a woman of excellence as in the exhausted, overbearing, obnoxious kind, but you are just a woman of resilience and you have a standard for your life. You want to win in life and you refuse to let people get in the way of that. When you have that kind of mindset, you will not be liked. But I guarantee you, there are people who see you as a woman. They see how you carry yourself. They see that you are a woman that is not willing to go back and forth about foolish things. You don't do a lot of tussling and arguing about nothing. You're too focused on your purpose. You're too focused nurturing the things in your life that actually give life to you. You focus on your faith. Women of faith, a lot of times when you are truly standing in your faith, when you truly know God and you have a relationship with him, if you know what those scriptures say and you allow them to penetrate your heart and your mind, you are stone when it comes to your belief in who you are and what you can do. People definitely will not like you because when you have that spiritual foundation, Nobody can really rock you one way or the other. And because of that, sometimes people will look at you like, oh, you're conceited. You think this, you're self-absorbed. You think that, you act like that, you act like this. And you have to become accustomed to being the type of woman who can understand that people may feel that way about you. Their perception of you might be that way. But because of your unwillingness, to allow them to shake your confidence, to shake your faith, to shake the way that you move in life, you have to be willing to be disliked, but they will respect you. You see, when people dislike you, they respect the way you move, so much so that they admire you, but because you are so bold in what you do, they don't like it. They don't like that they don't have some kind of pull over you. You see, if you were a woman who was once so easily persuaded to do what everybody else wants you to do, if you were once a woman who allowed the opinions of other people to stop you in your tracks from doing what you know to do as a woman, as a wife, as a mother, whatever title you might hold, when you allowed the weight of their opinion to hold you back at one point in your life and you're no longer like that, they're not going to like you. They will respect you, but they're not going to like you. See, for me, when I realized that being respected was more important than being liked, that's when I began to move a little bit more freely in life. And then going back to faith for a moment, because I really have to stay here for a second, because many people in faith, they believe that they have to go along with the tr tradition of what people do and how they do it. And when God really opens their understanding to different things and they realize, well, 
it doesn't really mean that. And I'm going to apply the scripture this way because I know this is what God wants for me. And people see that you're no longer under the thumb of everybody else just going along to get along. And it's now just you and God. And he's directing your steps without their influence. It's like, oh my goodness, how dare you? Once again, you have to be willing to be the oddball out. The one who is so odd, so different. You don't care about how we feel about you? No. I would like that you would like me. I would hope that you would like me. But if you don't, I'm not losing any sleep. And as women, especially when you are a woman who is focused on transforming and becoming a better woman, when you are trying to reinvent yourself and allow God to use you in different ways, you will be disliked. And it's not because of anything you're trying to do. Some people will dislike you because you have a voice. You know, when you show too much confidence and boldness, when you speak too much, especially around other women who might not be as confident as you, they might be a little bit insecure. They might feel like, you know, you don't really need to say all of that. You don't really need to do all of that. You know, that just kind of blend in mentality. As I have said before, many women are sitting on gifts and skills and talents all because they have a fear of being seen by other people. And like I've said before, I wouldn't have started this YouTube channel had I been so afraid of what other people are going to say about me. And you see, that's why sometimes starting over, a lot of times, starting over is good. Starting over in a different area, whether it be online, in a different neighborhood, in a different city, in a different town. Sometimes staying too close to home will stunt your growth. See, when people are too familiar with you, when you allow people to get too familiar with you, you let their perception of you stop you from doing new things. You let the fear of how they're going to see you stop you from doing new things. And even if what you do new in your life, people decide, you know what? I'm not really vibing with what you're doing now. I don't understand it. I don't like it. Who cares? Wasting your tr time trying to get people to truly understand what you're doing and why you're doing it, it is a waste of time. You only get one life. And as long as the way I see it, that you're honoring God with your life, nobody else has to understand what you're doing and how you're moving. Nobody else has to respect it. You see, a lot of people don't like when you move independently from them because they want to have control over you. And when they can't have control over you, they don't like you. When you show yourself to truly be a grown woman that can make her own decisions and that can guide her way through life and understand that, you know what, while I value the opinion of other people, I do not allow the totality of their opinion to dictate my moves. I do not allow their attitudes and the way they act toward me and all of that to stop me from doing what I'm supposed to do as a woman. So once again, being respected is better than being liked. Because even if people don't necessarily like the new you, they will respect the fact that you went against the grain, that you're no longer blending in, and their form of admiration is not going to be like the genuine form of admiration. When people dislike you all because you have changed, because you are no longer so easily persuaded, because you're not gullible, because you're not naive anymore, because a lot of times people will see you be one way and they're used to being able to kind of like just knock you around however they want to knock you around. But then when you just like get firm where nobody can easily shake you, they're like, oh, who does she think she is? How dare she say these kind of things? Talk this way, act that way. It's better to be liked. It's better to be respected than to be liked. And if people are really meant to be in your circle, meant to be in your corner, over time, they will see that bold, confident woman you're becoming and that like will gradually come back, maybe. Or in my experience, God has surrounded me with new people, different opportunities, different people who are now on the same page as me for the season of life that I am in. 
And it's not to say that just because you're doing new things, that means that everybody's suddenly going to dislike you. But undoubtedly, when you have more confidence as a woman, especially when you once lacked confidence, that's what I'm speaking of. I'm speaking of women who once lacked confidence, who were once those needy kind of naive kind of women who were just like, you know, didn't want to rock the boat too much because they wanted everybody to like them. When you get out of that mentality, that's when people will suddenly not like you because it's like, oh, you're, what I say to you doesn't matter now. You know, that kind of thing. My opinion isn't stopping you from doing things. No. Better to be respected than to be liked. Because when people respect you, they even emulate you, even when they don't like you. You'll hear them saying things that you once said and wonder, like, I've heard that somewhere before. Hmm. Where did they get that from? Or they'll open the same kind of business or do something that you were doing. And you're like, hmm, that's different. What do they say? Imitation is the most purest form of flattery. Something to that effect. So ladies, just know as you begin to level up, as you begin to become more confident, when you start doing more things in your life and you realize that life is not infinite, that you are not going to be here forever, and you realize that if you don't make moves and if you don't do things that are going to benefit your life, eventually that life will pass you by and you don't want to live with regret, you will rock the boat with some people and they're not going to like you. And it's always been my motto, once again, you don't have to like me, but you will respect me. And that is the most important thing as a woman. You want to be liked. There are going to be people who like you, but the people who suddenly don't like you because you are more bold and more confident and more vocal and where you stand and you have boundaries and standards, those people are no good for you anyway. You probably want to keep your distance, all right? Also, if you have not gotten the book, How to Be a Feminine Woman, the blueprint, I suggest you get that. It's available on Amazon in ebook and paperback form. We also have merch. We have a spread shop where I have beautiful tote bags, beautiful shirts, um, beautiful stickers, mugs. Check out our merchandise shop here at All Things Woman. And if you watch this video, until the very end, put the high hill emoji in the comment section. I absolutely love to see it. Take care.